G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I thought I would use this. Uh, it's just a plastic, I think it's like a um, placemat, maybe? Maybe, you know, to put hot things on. This is a, it's a big one though, so I don't know, maybe put that in the center of your table and maybe put your hot platter on it. Not sure. Um, but I thought I would do some resin with it. Now, ages ago, maybe two years ago, I did one um, similar. It was like longer and sort of thinner, thinner pieces in it. And I put blues in it. Anyone remember that video? So anyway, I'm going to try, that was with regular resin. Today, I'm going to try my UV resin, my coloured UV resin, just to see if what I can do with it. And I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with it afterwards, because it's only going to be very thin. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just going to start and just go for it. Now, it was, it's been sitting in my container under my desk, under my bench for quite a while. It was kind of bent. So what I did was I got my heat gun. There's a bit of a ripple there. I've got it on high and I'm just kind of heating it, pressing it down and this point up here. So anywhere that you can see, you know, is maybe a little bit raised or has got a bit of a kink in it. I just heat it up, it's, it's pretty hot there, so be careful, <laughs> maybe push with something else. Um, the back of, a, back of a cake pan maybe, push it, and just, just make sure that it's all level. Now the other thing I wanna do, um, because I thought, well I can't just pour resin in here, because, you know, uh, I don't want it on my, I've got a plastic um, sheet here um, underneath, underneath it so I'm thinking what can I put that's going to maybe come off easily and then I thought well what about this sort of I don't know if this is double-sided no it's not double-sided because it's it's just you know that um, what's it called transfer tape adhesive paper it's sticky on that side so what I thought was and I like I haven't got a lot of it and I don't want to use it all. I'm not going to fill in these these that are bigger silver. I thought I'll just leave those plain um, and then they can sort of pick up all this other bits of silver around it. So look, I don't even know if this is going to work. I really don't know if this is going to work. So what I'm going to try and do is um, I'm going to basically just cut a piece and just sort of put it put it there. Because yeah, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to waste all of my paper because I don't really have very much of it. And you know, you may well have a, a better idea. You, you may have much better idea than what I've got on how to on how to do this. But let's just make a start. I'll make it a little bit bigger so that we've got a little bit of extra just in case. So we don't want the, um, the resin to sort of slip underneath. So a little bit bigger, just a little bit of protection. And let's see, I'm going to try to do sort of like, I need to go all the way down here. It's going to take me a little while. I'm not quite sure how to do this. I'm not sure. Like I don't want to waste it by putting it on this bit here. So we'll see. Maybe I'll just do this little bit here. It's going to sort of put some marks where this one is, like that, and see, and just see if I can sort of cut around there. Just, just roughly. Like this. Hopefully I'm doing the right thing. Hopefully I'm not going to waste it. Hopefully not. I don't know that I can do much with these little bits like that. But. Anyway, let's, let's see. Let's see what happens. So, it's a bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, look, I've stuffed it up already. I should have made that bigger. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right, let's just do this. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I, I don't know. All right, so let's just... I'm sure by the time... Oh, God, no, it is double-sided. Look. 
it is double sided but I don't want it to be double sided I don't want it to be double sided so because I don't want it sticking to my my bench so look I'm just going to put that there like that so that's that's now sticky on that side see so I can pour resin into that now um, and hopefully it will it'll hold right, I need to find somewhere I can use this so look I'm just gonna I've got a couple of sheets like I said I'm just gonna go um, I won't video because it's gonna take me a little while I'll figure out where my little pieces can go and I'm just going to well, that'll work there I'm just gonna slot them in um, and then once I've done that once all these bigger ones are covered uh, I'll come back to you I'm gonna try something else I think this will be too fiddly Look, if I had a roll of um, contact paper, you know the, the roll of sticky stuff that you use to cover your children's school books? Uh, that would be ideal, but this, this is not going to work. This, I didn't realise it was um, double-sided, so let's move on. But uh, I think if you had a roll of contact paper, um, use that. Now this is just a silicon mat. Let's see, if, let's see if that'll work. And yes, I could just edit it out and start again, but... I think it's good to show things from the beginning, see what works, see what doesn't work. You know, sometimes you get ideas as you go along. Let's see if this will actually stick. I wouldn't do this if I was using regular resin, but because I'm going to use um, the UV resin and you know I can heat, I can cure it really quickly. Um, I'm hoping it's going to to work. And if I get a little bit of, you know, I flowing underneath I'm sure it'll be fine maybe I can turn it into a bowl um, you could possibly turn it over laid it top coat make it a little bit thicker it could be an amazing clock all right so that looks looks pretty sticky <laughs> all right um, get the UV lamp out there it is and plug that in this is just one that I got from eBay it's for fingernails it's got lots and lots of, of lights and that's what I like about that uh, I've also got this little lamp handheld you know if you want to get into a little tricky spot and you always want to do a, a little area you could do that so um, look I don't know let, let's just try let's just try and see what happens hey let's just do it it's only resin if it doesn't work, we can just pick it out and start again. All right, let's have a look. Now, this is the Let's Resin UV kit. And I'm going to have to pick colors. Black. I don't want black. Red, blue, purple. I'm sure it tells you on the back. There we go. Look, it tells you, it tells you there. Um colors all I want I can't I think I want I don't want green I might go sort of red pink purpley sorts of tones I don't want green I don't want caramel I want a green white we don't want white so yellow peach purple and pink so there we go so we've got some Maybe I'll do green, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll do some green. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right. Let's just get started. Okay, I'm wasting time. Wasting time here. So, um, I'm going to kind of think of a design. So we've got the center there. I'll probably choose a color for there. Those areas there. Um, gosh. Gosh. All right, let's just do red. Let's, let's do red. Oh, let's just see if this is going to work. I might use this just to see if it's going to actually um, cure. So we'll pop a little bit there. Let's put a bit in. It looks as if it's going to work okay. Look, it doesn't look, doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Although, and I can't tell if it's running underneath. Oh, yeah, it is a little bit. <laughs> if I pushed on it, but... Don't push on it. Just leave it like that. See, it should. If you don't push on it, it should just sort of settle where it wants to settle, and then um, and then cure. So these aren't really bright. It's more of a 
a transparent, translucent sort of a, a color, I, I think. Let's see. Let's see if it's curing. I mean, it should be. It should be. There's no reason why it wouldn't. Oh, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's done it. All right. Let's move on, you guys. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. So we'll do red in the middle. I'm just going to put red in all of these. Try not to get bubbles in them. I'll try and be quick. Try not to push too much on them. It's a bit hard to see where I've been or where I haven't been because it's it's all red. <laughs> ah, there's a bubble. It smells weird. Try not to get bubbles into it. Try not to release the pressure because if I release the pressure, it sucks air in. So I'm trying to keep the pressure on there as I move it along to the next little section so that I'm not getting bubbles. Okay. I'll put a little bit more in that one. Just filling them up as much as I can. Because obviously you want it to be as thick as possible. But yeah, if you're having, if you're putting this on contact paper, you know that sticky paper, uh, it's going to work better. You're not going to have any leaks under. No, I may have leaks under. I'm not sure. I'm going to torch this just very, very gently because I don't want bubbles. All right, let's put that under there. Oh my gosh, this is going to take me a while. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't make you sit through the whole thing. See, while that's curing now, uh, we, could move, we could move on and we could do like another section down here or over here. I just have to sort of pick my colours of what I want to do. Now that I've got the red centre. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what colours I want to do. <laughs> So you could have, you could have it pretty plain. You could have the red in the middle, and then the next row could have all one colour, and then these outside ones you could have all one colour. But I want to mix it up a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, so what I think I'll do is these these interior ones here. I think I'll do those in. purple and blue so I might go purple blue pink purple and alternate those and then in the middle ones I'll go pink peach and yellow how's that sound for a plan oh is that 90 seconds up already okay beautiful all right so that's gonna be that'll be my outer my outer ones and these are the inner ones I can't even see what the colors are Let's have a look. Let's have a look and see what these colours are because I can't actually see it. So this one's the pink. There we go. Looks pink to me. And then this one is peach. Okay, <laughs> I haven't used that one yet. Might help if I took the little bit of foil off the top. Ah, can't get it off. See if that's any any different. Not sure. Oh, where's the other bit? There. What am I doing? That's the lid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right. So this is peach. Okay. Looks like pink to me. Just a brighter pink. Maybe I won't use the other pink. Maybe I'll stick to peach. Oh, yellow. See, I haven't used all of these colours before, so you need to make sure that you've opened them all before you start. And I guess check the colours to see which ones you actually want to use. Yellow. Okay, so that pink is quite pale, that one. So I'm going to put that aside and I'm just going to do the peach. Peach and yellow. Let's check these ones as well while I've got them here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we'll use the 
those two, peach and yellow, and then the blue. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the blue. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so there's the blue. This one's pink purple. I keep opening the wrong thing. Gosh. Okay, that one just looks like pink. purple that's pretty okay um, so the pink purple looks just like the pink so let's let's not do that there we go so there's our colors <laughs> that was that was hard because <laughs> you can't see what they're gonna look like against this against the black so let me just clean my hands here Isopropyl. I put my isopropyl into one of these, so I just put my hand underneath and it gives me a it gives me a squirtful and then I can just make sure I've cleaned my hands. Um, obviously if you want to you can wear gloves, but it's just a little bit fiddly for me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch it. I only I only touched it because I was opening the um, <laughs> opening those little foil things. Alright. Um, now look now I don't know what I'm gonna do because I've just got four colours. Look, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do whatever all right I'm not going to put any pattern I'm just going to do whatever so this is the yellow try not to have bubbles in there if you're worried about if you haven't got um, contact paper like me what do you guys call it over in the states not contact paper we call it contact paper here in Australia you cover your school books with uh, if, if you haven't got any of that and I probably should have waited until I got myself a roll but I was just keen to get started I've been thinking about doing this for a long time and then I finally did and I thought oh, I haven't got any contact paper but uh, yeah maybe just do like a, a section at a time if you haven't got the contact paper just in case the resin decides it wants to sort of run underneath you can just do a bit cure it choose another color move on while that's curing I'm gonna do this one here with this what color was this one it's the pinky color isn't it weird how pinks look kind of a brown when you, you or brownie green when you put them on a black background? But once I remove this black background, it'll be fine. This one's got a few bubbles in it. And I will just give it a zap with my little baby torch. So as soon as that's done, I'll move it over and, and do this section and then I'll go back to that section. because that's on there now I'm just going to move around and I'm going to do some blue over here so I'm going to put you on a time lapse I'm not going to video the whole thing but I'll just time lapse a little bit for you all right so we have done the yellow the pink and the blue now if you think that maybe you need it like it's not full enough you can always go and add a little bit more on top but just be careful in case it leaks. These little um, micro brushes are really good. Um, you can dip them in a little bit of isopropyl and uh, you can just sort of wipe. If you've gone over you can just sort of wipe like that and then dip them back into the isopropyl. So those are really good handy little things to use. I was using my um, my baby wipe until I remembered that I had those. So yeah, that's a better option. All right, now the other thing, um, I think I want to use, I think I want to use a bit of green as well. Now that I'm not having any particular pattern, I'm just doing it higgledy piggledy. Um, there is lake green. Oh, 
that's nice it's like a teal kind of a color and green oh yep very nice okay it's like a lime green so I think those will, will look nice as well so let's use those as well so I'm gonna keep going um, now this I think this is a good thing like you know if you just want to do a little bit here and there you don't want to get stuck in and do like a huge resin project um, I could leave this now I could go and have a coffee I could go and have my breakfast I could come back and do another one or another two come back later do another one so I think it's it's a good thing like if you you know you can't maybe stand for too long or you just want to do little bits of resin at a time I think this would be a nice project to do and because it's so because this resin is so transparent how pretty would it look standing in front of a window like as a sun catcher um, stained glass kind of a look how pretty would that be I think that's I think that's what I'll do I think I'll just have it as like hanging you could hang it um, in front of a window I think that would be gorgeous anyway I'm gonna do a little bit more it's a pity it's on a black background like I said white contact paper would look much nicer yeah I can't do it now anyway <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> maybe next time all right um, I'm gonna finish it off and um, I'll see you a bit later on for the unmolding okay so I have finished uh, these bigger ones anyway now I'm just going to shine my little torch on hopefully you can kind of see the color that's a green there's a teal blue uh, I'm not sure what color that is <laughs> yellow Actually, I think I did that one red Ended up, and, yeah, ended up doing another one because I only had a little bit of red in the middle, so I ended up doing another red. Pink. So, a bit of blue up there. Got a green. So, what I thought now, because they've all got some resin in them, I want to put some resin in these as well. So, what I thought I would do is... I'll just pop you back up there for now. So, what I thought I would do is just get my UV resin and just kind of drizzle it over it's not very deep you don't need don't need a lot and then with my little offset spatula you could use a, a silicon stick as well but I think this is going to work better I'm just going to kind of push that resin in there because I thought well if everything else has got resin in it I want these to have resin in it I don't want it to look weird if it's hanging up in the window and everyone goes oh there's no resin in those ones and I thought, yep let's just add a little bit of clear I'll just push it in so I'm actually giving it some pressure I'm pushing it into all those little little holes there a little bit more Probably go easy to begin with. You don't want to overfill it. And it's easy enough to wipe off. It's just you don't want to waste it. Go right up to the edges. And then we'll just put the heat lamp on that. Not the heat lamp. The UV lamp. <laughs> the heat lamp. Uh, have a little bit of a solarium going on. Okay, I think that's... I think that's done I just want to get it into all the little holes make sure I've got it into all of them there's a few there I've missed you can actually stand back and look across the top and that'll you'll see very clearly if you've if you've missed any or not and also you know you could sit down if you've got a, a bench a table sit down and do this as well like if you don't have a lot of room and you don't want to have a lot of resin everywhere and big bottles just get yourself some UV resin you can sit at the kitchen table it's probably a little introductory into resin you know to see if you like it or not without having to go and buy a gallon of of resin okay so that's that one done just going to clean off the sides a little bit with my little tool here. I'm still debating whether or not I'd, I want to give the whole thing a flood coat of, of resin just to just to thicken it up you know so make it a little bit more a little bit more hardy. I'll just torch over that as well there we go okay and 
over with the lamp. So I'm going to do that to all the others. Uh, and then we're pretty much, pretty much finished. But uh, yeah, I just have to decide if I want to like top coat it. And if I top coat it, I'll use, I don't want to use UV resin because it's too much to put over the whole thing. So, I mean, you could just leave it like that. We will need to turn it over at some stage and cure the back because this is only cured on the, on the top. So we will need to do the back as well. So hopefully it'll be able to just peel off this silicon mat. Um, and then you can either use your heat lamp or you can just leave it outside in the sun for a few hours and, and that'll do exactly the same thing. And, uh, and it'll be nicely, nicely cured. So I'm just trying to think. I don't know. I'll look, I'll try a little, I'll try a little section and just see how it goes. So like it's got to be, if you're going to top coat something, it's got to be a really thick resin. It's not going to kind of run everywhere because we want it to sort of just sit on the edges here. So I don't know. I'll have a think about it. All right. So it's the next day. I had other things to do and I have actually just mixed up a little bit of resin, but I haven't poured it yet. And I've changed my mind, you guys. I've changed my mind. I was looking at it while I was stirring away there, and I thought I really like the texture on this side. And if I cover it with resin, I'm going to lose all that sort of that texture that I've created. You get these little these little areas here are a little bit raised, and then the resins drop down. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have to either waste that resin or use it for something else. But what I want to do is I want to turn this over, cure the other side, and then I'm going to top coat the back. That way I'm not losing this nice texture. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this up. But we'll find out together because it is going to... See the... See it's sticky? It's got to be sticky. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's, we'll just have to do it. Actually, I'm going to put my gloves on. <laughs> it's got to be sticky. Um, and then I'm going to turn it over. Um, and then, uh, yeah, cure the other side. I won't be able to put it back down onto this mat because the mat's going to be all sticky obviously. I'm going to have to throw it in the sink and try and wash this resin off. Oh, I'm liking the colours though. I'm liking the colours. Alright, so we'll just peel that away. Put that there. Oh, look at that! You can actually see the colours. How cool is that? Alright, so I'm just going to go and pop this in the sink for now. Actually, actually, you know what I better do? I better just put it outside in the sun. Uh, <clears throat> and then hopefully uh, once it's cured, I can just peel peel that off. Look at that. Now that the black's gone, we can see the colours. How cool is that? This is the first time I've been able to see them. So, yeah, let's cure this. I mean, you could if you wanted to use this side. If you didn't want the bright silver, it's got, like, you know, it's got grey on the back. But, uh, yeah, I like the silver. I do. All right, I'm going to get out my curing machine. I'm going to cure this side uh, and then I'll top coat it. Now, because everything is kind of sticky, I can't drop this down. So I'm just going to hold it and it's going to take me a little while. I'll put my hand there, <laughs> arrest it. So I'm just going to do a section at a time. I'm just going to do like a minute at a time just to kind of half cure it. Um, and then I'll be able to lay this down. Um, alternatively, pick the whole thing up, put it outside in the sun for a few hours, so you could do that. Alright, I'm going to do this for everything, and uh, I'll, I'll see you guys when I'm ready to put the top coat on, and we'll top coat this side. Right, I have got uh, a little bit of white resin. 
So this is the Platinum Art Class. It sets up pretty quickly. It's specifically for people that may want to do like a top coat on a painting uh, or a resin piece and uh, then take it home with them at the end of their class. So art class is where it got, gets its name. Uh, so I am using the Lores Angel White. Just put a scoop of that in my clear resin. Now the length of time it takes to set up is determined by you know how thick you pour it. But I thought, oh, hopefully it'll be, hopefully it'll take uh, not too long to to set up. So I'm just going to do that. I've got a piece of plastic underneath in case I go over the edges because <laughs> I probably will. Um, we'll just we'll just spread it. I just want a, a thin amount, just a thin amount. And hopefully it will, when it gets to the edges, I'm hoping it'll kind of dome, just sit on the side there. <clears throat> if you're using a really thin resin, it tends not to want to dome, but uh, a thicker resin will do that in my experience. I made enough. I just had 50 gram, 50, 52 grams of A and 50 grams of B. I thought, yeah, that'll be enough. Just a, a thin coating, just to give it a little bit of a, a white background. And then I'm just spreading it with this little offset spatula. I should probably do this with the, the bigger one and then come in with my smaller one and do those smaller areas. So yeah, just basically just want a, a thin little coating of white just so that, you know, the colours will show up on the other side. So when I started this project, this is not, not what I was expecting to do. I was just, you know, as you know, hoping just to have it clear um, and then stand it up or we'll hang it from a window. But uh, the colours just, you know, they're not quite as dark as I was expecting. Oops, now I'm making a mess. Yeah, it wasn't quite as dark as I was expecting and I can't really see the colours all that well. So similarly to a 3D bloom, sometimes you just need to have a background on them to make the colours sort of pop a little bit more. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm hoping to do. I don't know that I've got enough here. I either have to mix up a little bit more or just keep spreading this. Hopefully it will be enough. I don't want a thick background. And this will, I guess, also make it a little bit more sturdy. You know, if you're going to use it um, as a centerpiece on your, on your table, you can put things on it. Not necessarily hot things, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, you could still put put things on it as your your centerpiece in your your table. All right, I am going to. I won't bore you with this. I'll just put you on a time lapse real quick, and uh, see if I can finish this off. Okay, so it's the next day and I did have a little look at this and I am disappointed with it, but I'm going to show you anyway because we all learn from these. Now, I didn't realise that there was obviously a couple of little areas where <laughs> the, um, the UV resin hadn't like filled the hole tightly so I've got a little bit of um, the white has seeped through to the other side so be careful if you're doing this or you don't need to back it like I probably in hindsight I was kicking myself I was saying Julie why didn't you just leave it you know but I thought oh, I'll put another layer on it make it a little bit thicker make turn it into a placemat but ideally I probably should have just left it 
as my sun catcher, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. It would have been perfect. But anyway, let's have a look and I'll show you what I mean about the leakage. There we go. So this bit here, <laughs> there's there's a few. This is the biggest. I tried to pick it off, but the, um, the silver was sort of going to come off as well. But apart from that, um, it's really pretty. So I guess a positive, the colours look really pretty. Uh, it would make a lovely centrepiece if you didn't have any leakage. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how you would stop the leakage. Maybe once you had all your colours in, you could lift it up, hold it up to the sun or something and see if you could see any little gaps. But um, yeah, that's how, it's, that's how it's turned out. So we've got some... You know, the areas that have worked have, have turned out really, really pretty. But yeah, I, I would advise just leaving it as um, as a sun catcher, as, uh, as I wanted to have it initially. I think it would have turned out really pretty. But what's done is done. I have learned a lesson. Never done this before. Great to learn. All right. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to do. And um, yeah, I'll definitely have another go with the UV resin and a different sort of placemat because I would like to do a sun catcher. And we won't do the backing next time, okay? We won't do the backing. We'll just do a sun catcher. All right. Okay. Hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, I'll see you all again for the next video. Okay. Take care, guys. Bye for now.